Yeah. If you ain't get no money, nigga, you a fucking bum. You a polo with a Draco running rounds in a drum. I don't give a fuck about who you is or where you from. What's up, people? It's your boy, Darius Akon Gladere, back at it again with another video. Before we get started, if you want to join the Dragon Fam, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And smash that like button to help your boy out as we're in a quest to 400 subscribers. So, as you've seen in the title, we're going to be talking about the number one player in the class of 2024, Cooper Flag committing to Duke. Last week, the number one player decided to take his talents to Duke. His top two schools were Duke and UConn. This decision didn't really shock anybody. I would have loved to see him go to UConn because they do have a stacked team coming back and they just won the natty. UConn fans not going to lose sleep not getting Cooper Flag. They literally are the defending champs and have a stacked team this upcoming season. They also got a great recruiting class coming next year. So yeah, UConn not worried at all. In a Slam article, this is what Cooper Flack had to say on his decision to go to Duke. I think after I got on campus at Duke, I really started to feel it to be honest. He says, that's something the coach has definitely stressed to me that once you get to campus, it's something you have to feel. And I knew then I wanted to go to Duke and that's where I wanted to play college basketball. What went into the decision mean? I was looking for a coaching style I was really comfortable with, but also a coaching staff that was really going to hold me accountable. Being on a visit, I got to see them in practice and see how they were holding their guys accountable and really pushing them to be better. For me, ever since I was a little kid, I always had a dream of playing Division One basketball at the highest level, especially with a place like Duke. Once we got to campus, we felt it. He is definitely the best two-way player in the country. He is a three-level scorer. When he feels like his outside shot not going in, he's not afraid to do his dirty work in the paint. He's also a great defender and can guard every position on the court. He can crash the boards at will. He is a complete player and I can't wait till he reaches full potential. He was also asked by Slam Magazine on how teams can stop him and he told them this, I think that I'm too versatile and too much of a well-rounded player that no team can take me out of the game. It's definitely going to be hard pressed for teams to stop him for real because when he gets hot, it's going to be hard to stop him. Now that Cooper Flag is going to Duke, this channel is officially a Cooper Flag hate channel. As y'all know, I'm a diehard Tar Heels fan and he is public enemy number one when he steps on campus. But on a serious note, I do wish Cooper a successful season and I hope that my Tar Heels can hand you some L's when you get the Duke. Well, that's in this video. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments section down below. Do you think he made the right decision in going to Duke? Do you think he should have went to UConn? Do you think he can bring Duke a national championship when he get here? Let me know. Also, before I forget, don't forget to tune into my podcast with my guy Benny Go. It's called the Child Buzz Podcast, and we will try to have an episode out every other week. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Go follow me on all my social medias. And that's the end of this video. Peace out.